good afternoon everybody today i am going to uh, start the new series of the mcsc but it's a totally belongs with the users related setting as you know in the every organizations and in every every active directory contains the users group and identities for those identity they require the specific type of the settings and allow to specific type of share folder for the users okay so here let me draw the small pictures for you just actually what i am going to discuss about the users this is my first server over here and this is my second server so the second server and this one is my going to be switch this is my switch let me connect the cable over here this is my cable is connected with the my switch and one more cable so switch with the switch and let me draw the some computer over here this is my client computer client computers and client computers these are the my client computer three client computers okay for me here the client computer need to join with the my switch and switch and switch this is my switch central devices which is used for the this has been providing the data traffic or any type of the request whatever it is it from the client to server or server to client for this purpose, we need we need to have the one central device. It is called the switch. It comes with the layer two and layer three, but this is not our topic for today. So here, first I have to have the one of the Active Directory in this my computer. This is my Active Directory computer, Active Directory server. Over here, I need to create the users and groups and so on. So what is the role of the users? Users need to create the, whenever there is a text for the organizations or any pro uh, project related to the organizations, okay, need to actively perform by the users. It's supposed to, I have the one user, username is Amit. And Amit is a responsible guy for the web developing or technical supporting or, or so on. So Amit need to have the one computers. This is called the client computers and it is state with the windows 10 operating system so every over here whatever amit okay from the daily basis in our organizations he has to store the his database with the my servers it's called the file server this one is a file server my file server so today for storing the data okay for storing the data for the users and as well as to map the data from the space from the file server we need to create this special type of the settings, a special type of the service called the home folder. After assigning the home folder, okay, whenever user moves from first computer, second computer, any computer in the network, okay, he will receive the same folders, same settings from the any computer in the networks. It's a feature of the home folders. This home folder is a private networks private network location where user can store the personal files, documents, and his daily project works. It is stored in a share folder in the network server. When you create the home folder on the network server, user can access it from the, any computer in the networks. So this is the feature of the home folders. The purpose of setting the home folder and creating the home folder is users should be able to access or able to view the, his folder from the any computer in the networks. So how to configure the home folder for users? This is my first demonstrations for today in this video. So I have the my demonstration lab and the my VMware workstations. This is my VMware work, uh, workstation. This is my first service uh, Active Directory and domain is IBM, ibm.com.np. This is my testing domain name. Here, I have been already installed the Active Directory over here. And this is my file server, okay? It's a member server with the Windows Server 19. Both are in the Windows Server 19. Let me log in with the administrator credential over here. 
ibm.com.np and then after password. For testing lab, for better demonstrations, let me use the, let me open the one more server over here. It is also client. Let's suppose to this is also going to be client. This is uh, client one. So user can do this. And Windows 10, this is the client two. Now, let's go to the Active Directory Management Console. This is Active Directory Using Computers. And then after, what? I have the already user over here, some users. The username is Amit and Sumit. I have the two users. For better understanding and for better practice or best practice, Let's create the one OU, Organize New Year. It's, it's like a folder of the activity. Uh, name of the OU is IT group or sales group. So over here, let me create the two users. The first user name is Lala. And second user name is any name I can give. And second user is, is I'm going to give the Cisco username. Right now, I have the two user under the IT group folder or OU. So the user Cisco and Lala, whenever they log in from the client computer, okay, they have to able to see or able to access the home folder or able to see access the network shared resources or network space from the client computers. For, for assigning the home folder, what I can do, I can use the my local server for the assigning home folder or I can use the another server for the home folders. I always recommend it to my students or my clients to use the home folder on the another computer, another server. Don't use the home folder on the your local servers. So let me go on the server too. This is my going, this is going to my file server. Okay. So right click and go to the disk management over here. Now the disk management I have the no more partition. Let me uh, take the partition and let me sync the partition from the C drive, sync volume. And the size of partition, any number 30,000 is approximately 30 GB. Let me have the one partition over here as soon as fast possible. Okay, this is my E drive over here. I can see now E drive. Yes, this is my E drive. So over here, I can normally share the my folders and assign that folder with the my users, but I'm not going to do like that. I'm going to assign the special permission with the special permission in home folders. For that, go to the server manager. And then file server and storage. And shares. Tax news here. The next, and let me choose the drive, it's e drive, e drive, and folder name. Any name I can, I can give over here. Home one two three, for example, or home folder, home minus folder. Any name name you can give. Okay, it depends upon the your design and your choice. Select and next. And share folder name is going to be home hyphen folders. And the location is this one. And remote share path is this one. Okay, don't forget this one. This is we will use for the assigning the open on another computer. So let me copy it and paste it on the notepad for just remember purpose. Okay, server two is my local server name, and the home minus folder is my share folder name. The next and enable the access space information, okay? Tick over here, next. And then custom permissions, and disable inheritance, one but inheritate permissions into the explicit permission on this object and remove this one. 
and put it one your group okay uh, right now i don't have the group let me create the one group group name is what what is the group name group name is it and i'm going to add the both users and the one of the common group the group name is it it because of i need to have the group to assign the permission over the folders you can individually assign the permission for the user also but it's better to assign the permissions on a groups so in future you can add or remove the user another user also add select principal advance and find now and select the it okay and allow this folder only and give the permissions create the file in right data create the folder and append the data then okay and then apply okay next and this is my final review. Uh, I have the server, server is server two, SRB two and cluster cluster rule. There is no cluster enabled till now. Local path is E drive and home minus folders. These are the my SMB share folder. SMB means share properties. Great. What the, what is this means? This means I successfully create the one of the folder and share with the SMB protocols. So close, this is mine share name home minus folders and it's located on the e drive and share name is home folder and protocol is used being used the smb so let's use the this share folder link for my home folder properties go to the users lala and cisco and right click and give the properties and then over here profile and go to the home folder and connect so over here you can give the your path percentile username percentile the last syntax percentile username percentile allow you to find out the actual login name of the users okay so i always recommend it to use the percentile username percentile at the last of the this syntax okay so this 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 means my server actually where is the located your folder folder name is the home folder share folder name is and this is the as for the users basis user login name basis folder should be created and the user login name automatically should be find out by the our process don't forget this one you can give the ip address and instead of the server name but i am going to give the server name over here no problem and then apply and okay so now let's log in uh, log in with the specific user windows 10 let me log in with using the username what your name cisco so whenever i log in using the cisco credential username the cisco users okay must be able to see the his home folder and as well as space from the server, server two. Okay, go to the folder. And then after this PC, and over here you can see the your home folders, Cisco home folders. Okay, this is a, your map drive from the server two. Go to server two, home folder, and here's a Cisco user so is here. Cisco folder is over here. So let me put the some file over here. File. This is my project work. For example, any name you can give. This is my project for the. You can write anything over here and save for testing purpose. Go to the over here and check. You can see the file of the Cisco. The same way, whenever user log out from these computers and he or she try to log in, log in from the another computer and is still uh, the, he able to see the his home folder and all the settings. So let me log in from the another computer, the uh, Cisco password.
this PC? C. It doesn't matter, okay, in which computer he or she is going to use by the Cisco. It doesn't matter well he or she within the network, he or she can able to see the, his personal file and folder document and his home folder as well. So this is called the home folder in the Windows Server 2019. You can configure home folder this way for your organizations and for your testing purpose. For Amit user, we have not assigned yet the Amit user home folder, so you, I cannot see the Amit user home folder. That is in the, by the Amit. See, there is no Amit user. Let's get back to the server two, or oh, so server one. How may I assign the Amit users? For the good practice, Amit and Summit users move this user from users folder to IT group folder. Now I'm able to see the Amit and Summit under the IT group folder and add the Amit and Summit under the IT group. And select the both user at a time, properties, profile, and home folders, connect, and by this way. Apply. Okay. Now Amit and Sumit. Okay, able to are uh, able to see the home folder and, and will uh, able to put the okay their daily project tags on their specific relative home folder. So log out from the Amit. From here. You can see Amit and Sumit folder has been created over here. Same controller delete and give the credential. This one Amit and go to the other machines for the Sumit. This is my next client. Login using the Sumit. Windows E, C, Summit able to see his home folder, okay? With that 29.2 GB. Windows E, Amit also able to, use, able to see the his home folder, okay? This is my next configurations for the Amit and Summit. It's the same process, same way. You have to share the one folder and the server two or server one or any other server in the network. And you have to assign the folder, okay, with the user properties using the right click on the user and properties. And then have a profile and you can, you should put the over here, your syntax. This is the series command syntax. So server name, where is the located your home folder? This is the home folder name, home folder share folder name. And the last one is a login name, okay? This syntax actually find out the login name of the users. 